Ooh, that was good. I got it. Y'all have a Toys R Us thing. Y'all yeah. have a Toys R, Toys R Us. No, 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 no. You don't get it. It's just, I it don't. just continues. It's kind of a I don't. Oh, yeah, you got several libraries of places you're never going to see again. Or be. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Turn that off. Turn that off right now. Stuck? No, you're not stuck. Oh, your boot's coming off. We actually drained the gas as well, and then we refueled it with uh, a little bit um, more gas. That's uh, our fuel, if you will. Okay, so, and that, we refueled it. We put more fuel in it, so uh, we'll see how this works. But okay. Let me clarify, were you able to get more fuel into that receptacle? Yes. It on there with it's like it's the way the spoon it adheses to my nose basically that's what it is it adheses <laughs> yeah i mean it adheses adheses actually see it through this camera. Does it smell like it? Smells like poo! Dog. Okay. I'm bored.
Let's try that. <laughs> <laughs> This is why it takes a while to get YouTube videos out. <laughs> Six children. People falling, people complaining, people crying. Where? Oh, you were filming me and I didn't even know? <laughs> Kaden, are you upset? Did I tell you no? No, no. These are my... Are you mad? What you need? Can't get on the face over there. Wait, you're for the punch. I didn't do it. It was your mom who made the scary noise. Hey, Jaden. Can you see daddy? Do you want dad? Come here. <laughs> Something else kind of cool about Alaska is all the walrus you actually see around here. The what? The walruses. Icicles, dude. <laughs> yeah, too full. No, seriously. in Eagle River, Alaska for two months now. It is not technically November, but we're recapping November for you guys. We have a lot of fun things and really by this point, we have experienced a lot. The Aurora, snow, trying to shovel the driveway. We've done homeschooling, we've explored. There's definitely a lot of things and I think we all wanted to just kind of talk about Yeah the differences that we've seen up here compared to uh, the good old south. Yeah. Yep. The snow here has been phenomenal. Um, we didn't get much of it, of course, in Georgia, so we are getting a ton of it here, which uh, I love it myself. You? Yeah, I love it too. Yeah. It's been really awesome. And it has... it's, this part of Eagle River where we're at is very different than if you go down the mountain. Nope. You have a lot more snow than they have. and We're a little bit higher elevation. It's taken some learning opportunity to navigate in it because uh, that's been kind of a new situation for us, but I think we're, we're getting there. Tell us about the snowblower and the snowplow. Yeah, so we actually had some equipment here at the rental property. Unfortunately, None of it worked, so it actually <laughs> allowed us an opportunity to learn how to fix some things. So, the snowblower, oh, oh, oh. which we actually got, uh, <laughs> Tim Allen's here, guys. I didn't even know it. Tim, the tool man, Taylor, he just grunted. We got the snowblower running. Um, it, we had to wait on some parts to come in, but uh, yeah, that was fun. And then the snow plow, <sighs> since like, July or August, a part was ordered for us. How have you adjusted to life up here? When we moved up here, um, Bronson and Trent quit their jobs without having anything lined up here. I worked for a couple of Chick-fil-A stores doing kind of HR stuff down south. I worked half of the entire drive up here. This is a new role and something they kind of let me come up with and create on my own and they trust me which is amazing and it's given me this opportunity to be at home with the boys to homeschool and to just kind of experience Alaska at this point 
Trent hadn't found work, but he got to be with the kids a lot. Again, this was something we all prayed on for six months. It was a calling that we all felt was right. I know for our family in particular, Trent has worked a lot of night shifts, a lot of weekends, and that was something that we knew God was telling us that like, it was finally our time to be able to have dinners together and Sunday church days together. So Trent, at this point, Shana has been working. Um, Bronson started a role back in October. You still are home. So tell us about what it was like with the boys while Shana was working. It's interesting, for sure. The day to day uh, with the kids and looking for work. I spent countless hours in front of that computer screen trying to find a remote job that would keep me home, um, keep me nearby, keep the car available for both of us. That was the goal, it did not work out that way, but it did allow me, while I was looking, to spend a lot of time with the kids, spend a lot of time outside sledding, um, just playing in the snow, tons of time outside, um, really enjoyed it, played Mr. Mom. He was a good Mr. Mom. And then at the end of November, you were offered a position. I was. It was a blessing. Oh, it's been fun. Uh, it's been, it's been real good. Just one other thing we love about Alaska are the beautiful sunsets that occur here. You ready for dinner? <laughs> so moving up here, there's uh, some unique things about Alaska, which uh, we found out some people don't know. Um, some of us didn't even, weren't even aware of um, until we got here. So service, as far as Wi-Fi and phone service. Sight completely unseen. We were told that there was no cell service, that uh, in order to call out, you had to be on Wi-Fi calling. It's just been interesting up to this point realizing we all have iPhones, Apple devices. If you don't have that, we probably don't get to communicate very much. We don't get your messages. Once we get to a certain point down the road, we might get some messages in. Sometimes if it's on a group message, we don't get them at all. If you are a non-iPhone user, maybe email. <laughs> email works great. Facebook Messenger works great. It's spotty at best. You yeah. can try a postcard, but that might also not be <laughs> True. True. The First office. That later. Yeah. No. We are a little further from some of the service areas. That's not all of Eagle River. That's not all of Anchorage. There is better uh, reception and you know closer to town and in the city. So we're you kind of in a unique don't get situation. The view. <laughs> yeah. That's true. You're sacrificing that. So another thing interesting. So Alaska does have its own time zone. We've had some folks think we were on the Pacific time zone. We're four hours behind Eastern. Shana works central time zone. Bronson actually works on Pacific time zone. I work you know. locally. Trent does work <laughs> locally. That has been a hard adjustment um, for us trying to get in touch with family back south. We will go through the day with homeschool, with work, and by the time we're cooking dinner and realizing we can sit down and have a conversation, most star families in bed <laughs> with the spotty service. Most of the time we don't get the calls that come in as well as just, it's busy throughout the day with a total of six kids, all of them home, and it's, it's go, go, go. Still getting used to how far behind they are.
when the mouse climbed up here, he eats oh. the cheese, and when he eats that, he goes to the other side, and he kind of slips and falls in the trap. Ta-da! Okay, thanks for using my shoe as a trap, bud. <laughs> Something really cool about Alaska, and a lot of people come here during the winter, is to experience the Northern Lights. And that is an awesome, awesome thing. It's just beautiful. I mean, there are pastel skies throughout the entire day because the sun's so low. So it's a lot of pinks and blues and whites everywhere. And then at nighttime, the sky lights up and it's green yeah. and purple. And, and if it's not a high KP that night, you still get stars as far as the eye can see. Oh yeah, that's been the coolest thing. Like you can see um, the Big Dipper right above our house every single night. It's one of the best parts about just walking back up there from dinner and just like staring at the stars. We downloaded a, an Aurora forecast app and uh, that allows us to see what might be coming in the forecast as far as the solar activity. And so you're given KP ranges, which is basically measure of geometric uh, magnetic activity. So, uh, KP is around three. You're like, yeah, you want to go out, but you also have to look for cloud coverage. Yeah, you do. And yeah, so it could be a high KP level. Mm -hmm. Go outside, it's snowing, or it's super cloudy. You're not going to see it, unfortunately. The nights we have seen it, we I think it was a KP four or so. It's usually been oh. late. it's been late. Yeah, it's super late. It's usually after midnight. Yeah, sometimes we'll catch it early, early in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, like the, like 5, 6 a.m. Yeah, I mean, it is something to just kind of, I can't even describe it. It's, it's a pretty cool thing. Yeah, it's definitely out of this world. So. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. 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 Be quiet. Spoil your fingers. Good job. Do it again. my sister and nephew they're the first ones to come visit us I'm super excited the boys do not know we've kept it a secret so they are at home sleeping and when they wake up in the morning they're gonna be here I found her I found her let's go Oh! 
Oh my <laughs> good great. So party. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh wow. Wow. <laughs> so, I... Hello. What's up, y'all? <laughs> <laughs>
love the poppers with volcanoes. We folded our paper and now it looks weird. Paisley, how about we draw? Um, I'm making the face. So we gotta get one more sponge. Flat on. For no, I'm not. I'm making his. What did we do? The science club. We digested a squid. <laughs> what did you think about that? Gross. It was gross? Oh, Why? It smelled weird. It smelled weird? I don't know what slimy. What was your favorite part about dissecting the squid? Nothing. What do you think of the smell? It smells like I'm going to throw up. You remember going to IDEA and doing the squid dissection, huh? <laughs> Disgusting. Did you cut any of it? Yeah. What did you think? Gross. What was gross about it? The smell. Where are you getting it? <laughs> 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 Are you getting it? <laughs> it smell like uh, dog poop. Like dog poop? I don't think it smelled like dog poop. It smelled worse than <laughs> It smelled worse than it. Did you? It, it was weird cutting out its guts. Cutting out its guts. You should want to throw up. I thought cutting out the ink sack was kind of cool. When the ink, didn't you? Did you try to write with the ink sack? You had to use your finger, which is weird. <laughs> it was such a disgusting thing. I think I'm gonna just start putting them. Okay, we'll be able to get that. Oh, we just needed to be okay. Just squeeze it a little bit. Yes. And give it a good pull. And pull it. Oh, <laughs> For science club, we did something. Do you remember what it was? Squid dissection. Yeah. What were your thoughts on the squid dissection? First, amazed. Second, horrified. What was horrifying about it? The smell. Did you enjoy dissecting it though? Somewhat. Like cutting its brains out. Tentacles stuck onto my club. I can't find it yet. Oh, look, ew, is this ew. It? Is this it here in the middle? Oh, it came out. Do you see it? Is this it? Is that yeah, that one? yeah. I guess I only got part of it, guys. Do you want a new one? Yeah. Okay, let me get a plate. I'll give you a new one. Okay, thank you. Oh! Do you see how you. Just right there? We had a good eight or nine inches of snow last night. We're just gonna go down by that creek and see what's going on down there. Wow, look at the picnic table. That's crazy. Here, put your hand there. Okay, this is how deep it is, guys. Here. Creeks up too. Dude, there's a fish. A fish? Welcome. Hey, that's me. 
Actually, our thermometer inside officially says zero. We just got out of church and it is snowing and coming down. You want to wave? See, hey, look at the crew. I got it. I think I need to stay quiet. Where are my boys? Paisley and Nathan, come on. Come on, little ones. Thanks, babe. Yes. Are you gonna do our wind chill too? Thank you. In every other northern state. Right? In Buffalo, right? Thank you, sir. Okay. Hey, you can get the door for your mom. Look at that gigantic Go for it. What's up, kiddo? <laughs> <laughs>